The full release of FIFA 20 is officially tomorrow, Friday the 27th of September 2019 at midnight, well that actually makes it the 28th, is the official release date of FIFA 20. And in today's video guys, we are going to be running through a very simple concept that can make you millions and millions of coins and to get the best start in FIFA 20 for your FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you what you should do the minute you get your hands on FIFA 20. So guys, picture this. It's midnight on the 27th, or technically the 28th of September 2019, and you're going into your superstore or your supermarket to pick up FIFA 20. You get home, you put it into your console, you put it into your PC, and you start to download the game. The minute the game is downloaded, this is where the most important question is. What can you do in the next couple of hours, in the next couple of days, within the next week, that can ensure you get the best start in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team? And obviously, there might be a, a few people watching this video that have pre-ordered the game, and you might already have the game. So guys, I would urge you guys to actually stick around and watch today's video because some of the hints, some of the tips I'm going to be sharing in today's video, they can benefit you as well. So guys, before we get into today's video, I'm going to ask you, if you're new around here, you like daily FIFA content, you like player reviews, you like absolutely anything to do with FIFA, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button and come and join the team. I've set a target to hit 1,700 subscribers. I can't believe it. We're, we're running towards 1,700 subscribers. That's absolutely insane. So if you're new around here, smash that subscribe button and help us to reach our a brand new target and so guys without any further ado let's get in to today's video hint and tip number one is your starter packs yes if you haven't already been on the web app the minute that you load up fifa 20 tomorrow you will get yourself some starter packs and guys this is a very important concept do not quick sell all of your starter pack players. This is something I urge you to do. Compare the price of each player. You might get a player, a centre back or a left back or a right back of a player that you might think is not worth much. You might pack a centre back or even a silver or even a bronze player and you might think this player isn't going to be worth anything so I'll quick sell him. No guys, don't do that. Compare the price. I've opened my starter packs on the web app this time around and I had two silver players that went for 4,000 coins each. And guys, if you're not putting um, FIFA points on at the beginning of FIFA 20, you need to make the most of every single player and you need to try and get as many coins as possible. So like I say, from your starter packs, do not quick sell them. The second thing you should be doing, and in my opinion, this is the most important thing. Go on and grind squad battles. So guys, you might be thinking, I'm going to turn the video off right here. I am not going to be playing squad battles. Well, you really need to. If you're not spending FIFA points and you really, really need coins guys squad battles is the way to go because don't forget it's friday when the full release of fifa 20 is out squad battle rewards are on sunday so if you can grind as many squad battle games as possible throughout friday night saturday morning and uh, obviously Sunday, because I think the rewards are released on Sunday night, if I'm correct, or even Monday morning for some of you watching, you can actually get yourself some early rewards from squad battles. So in my opinion, if you're not playing squad battles, you're not making the most of your first chances of making coins in FIFA 20. The next thing you should be doing in my opinion, and this is a vital, vital thing you should be doing, is sniping. Guys, do you understand how many people are going to be opening packs tomorrow 
in FIFA 20. Honestly, on the launch of FIFA 20, the full release of FIFA 20, everybody opens packs. I saw um, a quote that stated, actually, that the most packs throughout any FIFA get opened on the full release date of the game. So, guys, this means one thing. Everybody's going to be spamming packs, and the prices of gold players, the prices of silver players, the prices of bronze players... They're all going to decline massively. So, how can you take advantage of this? Well, maybe you've got yourself some coins. Maybe you put some FIFA points on. Or maybe you got really, really lucky with your starter packs. So, this is what you need to do, guys, in my opinion. Say you're running with 20k. Say you're running with 100,000 coins. This is what you need to do. Go onto the market and find some cheap, overpowered players that everybody's using in their starter teams. So I'm going to give you some examples of these cheap, overpowered players. So Ndidi, for example, the Leicester CDM, Gabamin, the Everton CDM, Alan St. Maximin. The right winger from Newcastle United. These are just some cheap, overpowered players that everybody is going to be using in their starter teams. And what you need to do, guys, is tomorrow, tomorrow night, as soon as you get on the game, start sniping. Start sniping these overpowered, cheap players players because guys i tell you what in a couple of weeks down the line once people start to get coins these players will start to rise back up in price and honestly they're probably a players like saint maximin could reach the highest potential if saint maximin discards for 15k in my opinion i think he's going to be around that within two weeks because people are just going to start using them people are going to start running them in the team and not forgetting that next weekend is weekend league. The first foot champs starts next weekend, if I'm correct. So, yeah, that's when all these players will start to rise back up. So, there you go, guys. Tomorrow, you snipe. And then you sell the night before weekend league starts when they're at maximum profit, which is going to be the Thursday before weekend league. So, when everybody gets their division rival rewards... Next Thursday is when you sell these players. The last tip of the video, guys, it's a really good tip. And guess what? If you're still around at this point in the video, leave me a comment in the comment section down below stating lettuce so that I know you're still around at this point in the video. And guys, if you still are around at this point in the video, you're a legend. And I'm going to share this next tip with you that can hopefully make you thousands and thousands of coins in FIFA 20. So here goes, sniping squad fitness cards in FIFA 20. It's such a simple concept that not many people are going to be doing. And I guarantee not many people will probably get to this point in the video, which means if you are watching at this point in the video, you can take advantage of this tip. Guys, a lot like the overpowered players, tomorrow when everybody's opening packs, Stock your clubs full of squad fitness cards. They'll probably be going for 200, 300 coins on a snipe. And guess what, guys? Like I said, next weekend is the first Foot Champs Weekend League. And this is, again, when you can sell your squad fitness cards. In my opinion, I think you'll get squad fitness cards, like I say, for around 200 or 300 coins Come tomorrow night when everybody gets the game. Like I say, they're all going to be spamming packs. They're all going to be listing the squad fitness. He's really cheap. They're all going to be undercutting each other just so they can get as many coins into their club as possible. So you go out, you snipe them, you snipe these uh, squad fitnesses for two, 300 coins, you stockpile them in your club, and then the time being, you don't need to use them squad fitness cards because you could probably just have a second team running so that your main team gathers fitness. And like I say, guys, come that first weekend league, if you've got 50 squad fitnesses that you pay 200 coins for, that first weekend league, I think they'll rise up easily 900 to 1,000 coins. 
Because let's face it, everyone's addicted to foot champs, so they're all going to be wanting full fitnesses on their teams. And like I say, guys, they'll rise up to like 900 and 1,000 coins, and I'll let you guys work out the profit you're going to make on that. Let me just tell you, my maths is poor, but I know you are going to be making bank on that hint. So guys, this is it for today's video. If you've enjoyed the video of Rapture House in any sort of way, don't forget to leave a like. And guys, as always, if you're new around here, you like daily FIFA content, you like play reviews, you like absolutely anything to do with FIFA, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button and come and join the team. I'll see you next time.